Hello and welcome guys, welcome back to our XCOM 2 World of Chosen series. This is Commander Duma and this is Operation Swamp Hole. This is episode 26 and we are being forced to sabotage an alien facility to reduce the after project to save this campaign, to save us because the Avatar project reached a point where we really need to do something about it. We are being forced to hit this facility. It's a 3 pip facility. I am sincerely expecting this to be so much like guarded, so well guarded. We are completely underprepared to deal with this and so much so that I have been thinking um, right after we finished recording last episode I I thought about this team and I didn't feel it. Reason being, while I do love Orn and uh, Kate, especially uh, because Orn has been carrying us uh, on a lot of missions, I really don't think this is the best mission for him. Because here's the thing: uh, if I can, if I have the chance, I only want Varus to go in, plant a bomb. Then we call up the evac and we fucking leave. I am not like... Um, I am not like fooling myself thinking that we will be able to just like breathe through pod by pod, kill the fucking or kill or just force the fucking ruler to run and then um, like just... Um, just like everything just working out for us, this is not going to happen. I don't think this is the case. We're completely underprepared. So if we are forced into a fight, if we need to make this ugly, then Aura and Kate are not the best options here. Aura can only take one shot per turn, and uh, it's a really good shot, really damaging. Uh, Kate can maybe get uh, use teamwork like every six turns. She can also uh, revive and uh, provide shooting that's really useful. But that's not what we need here. We need Varus to be the one that enters the facility to plant a bomb. But all the rest should be people that are good when things get ugly. And so if that's the case, then... Uh, I don't think R and Kate are very well suited to do with this. This three, I believe uh, they're fine because um, Muton has really good compat with uh, Varus here, and she will provide another grenade launcher for us. Uh, but I think I have some people in mind that I want to have on this mission, mainly uh, Kel. And Zoe, probably. And I know what you're thinking that we're maybe we relying like a lot on explosives, but man, if things get ugly, I don't want to take not even the risks of trying to target stuff. I just want to delete things and move along and keep moving. Push forward, plant the fucking thing and just leave. We are not ready for this. Kill for fucking sure will come. Could he use Angie? Uh, Amber just got a nickname, Trickshot. That's really cool, dude. That's really cool. Oh, we have Christmas as well? Christmas could be great on this mission as well. Yeah, here's the thing. I think I'm going to bring Kel. And uh, the question is, can we upgrade the gauntlet? We can. Okay. So yeah, we're upgrading the gauntlet, and if we, if we upgrade the gauntlet, then we should be able to bring Christmas here. And Christmas will provide us with even more burst damage. I think we need burst damage here. Burst damage is the name of the game. Amansi is coming because she, she deals a lot of damage, she has the area lockdown that can take down multiple enemies as well, she can control them with the Arctic rounds combined with that skill, she has the shredding, so she is like one of the strongest soldiers we have, so I think it's justified to bring her, but uh, we need like 
uh, guaranteed area damage, uh, a lot of armor shredding if uh, if it's like if it's called for then I don't like don't get me wrong I don't want to fight I don't want to fight but if we are forced into a situation of like breaking a fight I want to just delete the enemies and keep moving I don't want to stick around maybe we could give Muton the shield dude Why don't we test the shield, dude? Like having Newton as a like tank that can provide cover for the others. I think I'll test that. I think I'll test that. I'll test the shooting. If things like get ugly, then uh, she is very tanky. She already has some shield points with the shield. She's going to be super tanky. She's going to be so tanky. Yeah, I think this is good. Uh, let's equip our people here. I'll bring. I'll give my uh, good shotgun here for uh, Kel. Then the grenade launcher and uh, for her vest, I want the nano scale, so she's even tankier. Then I will give her the tracers. Then for all of our grenades will be multiplied here. So I think I need to take away the grenades from Muton because I need to assign them to other people. Then uh, Kel will be using the acid. Kel will be handling the... Should we use a medkit as well? Kel will be handling the substandard grenades. So this is like standard Kel here. It's like standard Kel. We could give her the ultralight as well. Yeah, I think uh, she's going to use the ultralight. She needs more mobility than Christmas does. So with Christmas, I'm going to use the it's good rifle here, advanced scope, advanced uh, stock. Then she's going to have the gauntlet. Then uh, alongside the gauntlet, I need. Here's the thing. Which one of our soldiers would be best suited with the Falcon rounds? That's a great question. <sighs> kind of feel the Arctics need to be on Amancia. But the Falcons would also be great on her. But... Yeah, maybe we should give Christmas the Falcon, dude. Fuck it. Let her have it. Then the Nanoscale and uh, as utility items also I'm going to have um, Muton here with uh, the fire grenade and as for utility items here I'm going to take a smoke and take a flash so she's going to be more uh, supportive outside of her rockets and uh, flamer And uh, what do her skills look like? So she can damage, uh, she can use her flamer to damage mechanical units. This could be useful. So she's tanky because of this as well. Yeah. Yeah, I think, I, I think this team should be good. Yeah, I think so. Uh, do we have anyone here that needs bio reading? We do. Uh, Varus doesn't have a bio yet. I'm still waiting for uh, his bio, but Muton has a bio that we haven't read. Uh, we haven't read. So um, let's do that. Let's keep that trend going. 
So Elsa, Newton, Castillo, she is 22 at the at gate pressure, so which means we're still in two, 2035, which means she's still 22, she should be, unless she already had the, uh, her birthday. Elsa was always a weird child. I mean, almost by herself, she was always doing dangerous things. Her heart was too uh, big, I think. I think, uh, yeah, she, her bio is really low, isn't it? Uh, and if any creature would be in danger, she would run to its rescue. If her papa was about to kill a rattlesnake, she would try to stall him and let it get away. If a child was about to get a spanking, she would pl plead with that person's parents to give him another chance. She was just a kind soul. Then the invasion happened. I think uh, we can't even fix anything here because it's already on the character limit. Then the invasion happened, her town stood no chance, ashes and screams filled the area as the aliens descend upon the people and then she ran from her school to her home. As she rounded the corner, her grandfather grabbed and pulled her into a safe cover. She was about 50 yards away from her house when she saw it. A muton. The beast took a few shots at the house, setting it ablaze. She could hear her mother screaming, her 10 month year old... Her 10 year old... Or her 10... Wait. Uh, was he a baby or was he uh, just a child? I'm confused. Uh, then her father ran out with a pitchfork. The mutant seemed confused as he got enraged and grabbed him by the neck and snapped it. Then he threw his body in through the window and shortly after a grenade. Those screams, she will always remember them. The screams of her family as they burned to death. Yeah, that's heavy stuff. Fast forward to the celebration of the creation of Advent, Elsa and her grandfather lived in a remote part of the desert due to the aliens taking control. She was on her way to get from an oasis nearby when she saw a trail of yellow liquid on her path. She followed it and sure enough there it was, a muton. It looked different, sure, slimmer built, but the face, the armor, the skin all, was all the same. She unsheathed unsheeted her machete and approached the creature. It was sitting leaned up against a cactus, holding its stomach. She raised her weapon, but that, but what she saw would make her think twice before striking it down. Fear. She looked it in the eyes, and it was as if she was looking at a scary, scary, a scared puppy. Her heart once again softened, and she would care for the creature in secret for the next five days. On the sixth day, during the middle of the night, Elsa checked on Mutant and began to redress its wounds. There was a creak at the door on the of the old house she kept him she kept him in. She kept in though and in step two mu okay, so this is confusing. She kept in though and in step two mutants. As the first one stepped in, he saw Elsa and took aim. The laser shot out, but her savior, the mutant she chose to show mercy to, took the shot. Okay, so yeah, we need comas, yeah. A growl could be heard, and he shot the aggressor with his own weapon, right in the forehead, as the first dropped to the second charge and stabbed him right in the wound spot. It twisted the bayonet and seemed to let out a satisfied grunt. Elsa watched in horror as the two struggled, struggled, her friend stabbed and losing. All of a sudden, her friend snapped the neck of his enemy and they both collapsed on the floor. After a minute or two, Elsa crawled over to saw her friend bleeding eyes half open, the last thing he did was to take off his face mask and put it on her hands. Now she wears that face mask in the fight against the aliens for freedom for vengeance. Okay, so that was really confusing because of the uh, grammar and because the lack of possible spaces to correct stuff and to apply commas, but really cool stuff. Muton, now you're properly welcomed to the team. And uh, this is the team for the mission. Hopefully, we don't get, we don't need to fight. But if we do, then we have a really uh, damaging team to do so. Okay. <sighs> All right. Wait, can I must have bond with someone? She can actually bond with Zoe. That's fun. Okay, but Zoe's not coming on this mission. But yeah, that's the thing for the future, maybe. So, okay, Operation Swamp Hole. Let's do this. Skyrim. Squad green to deploy. 
For today's intermission, I thought about something different. Something more personal of mine. You see, today I'm speaking as Duma, the content creator. The person, not the commander. When I got the Avatar Project alert last episode, I felt a fair share of desperation. And not because, once again, our campaign was threatened. Because it has been from the start. Each mistake, each death, it takes a heavy toll on us. But this time, I was facing a situation that could have formed from a deeper mistake. And uh, overall, strategy display. And it felt rough. Because if not for the mission we're being forced into now, then we should have reached a point of no return. There were no alternatives. There was no other way to thwart the after project. And then, just like that, all of our hopes for this would have been crushed in the most anticlimactic way possible. And you deserve better. Fortunately, that seemingly odd decision I took several weeks ago, scan for that facility lead, well, it paid off. We have this opportunity now, and thanks to that, a chance to keep doing what we're doing, to live, to watch another episode. You guys mean the world to me. On each reaction, on each log and roleplay you guys engage into, I feel more fulfilled. As a content creator, and as a friend. So, as you see, this mission took a very unexpected turn, and in doing so, it might have created a quite fun episode, one that I'm really proud of showing to you, one that I hope will make you even more excited and interested on the things that are yet to come. We'll finish this together. Thanks for watching, and now... Let's kick some alien butts, shall we? Local resistance forces tipped us to the location of an alien facility tied to the Avatar project operating out of this area. We're going in to shut it down, permanently. Approach the target and place the X-4 charges at the designated position. Then move to a safe distance for detonation. If we can take out that facility, we might just buy ourselves some time. Yeah, and that's what we need to do. We need to buy ourselves some time. Uh, Avatar Project is going out of control. So we need to address that. And uh, the main reason for that is because we are like getting unlucky with the covert ops. We're not getting the option of reducing the Avatar Project. That's actually really annoying. We're just unlucky, dude. I really hope that uh, these next covert ops do offer the chance for us to do it. Menace 1 5. Target coordinates are locked in. Move to designated position and place the X 4 charges. Okay, I can see the militia there. And they're like surrounded, dude. Okay, let's uh. This is the edge of the scenario, and uh, this. Does it go like so far away? Like it. This, this, this map is huge. Okay. The objective is right there. So. There's. Let's go ahead and take a look. Roger that. Nothing. Yeah, we, it seems we are like really far away from anything. So we're just going to keep dashing. Get closer. Take a look on what's happening. Let's do this. Y'all might be uh, getting eyes on something here. Hostiles making yep. rounds. There's a pot. Blind eye will keep dashing. 
Guess I'll take your word for it. And Amancia will try not to lag behind. Solid copy. These guys are moving. I can hear doors opening. Take turrets. Okay, resistance is firing. Let's see if Ferris can uh Let's see, I think I'll, I'll circle around this area. I'm like afraid of maybe triggering the advent and advent like starting fighting, firing back at those guys. If I can give them more time to do some damage on their own, then I'll be really glad. Okay. We're seeing that bot again, which is good. It gives us more information. I think I'll dash first with Amancia here. Let's are here. Moving out. Then uh, Kiao is the one that's closest to Varus. I will not get too close, like taking risks of getting revealed, but I will get closer. Already there. Then uh, Christmas. Here's a decent position. She she does she is uh, getting eyes on something else though. What are you planning? Oh, that's a big bot. I think I saw the viper there. I think it's it, is that a viper king? I couldn't get a, a good uh, angle on it. The muton will go there. Dude, the the shoot is so cool, dude. Shoot looks so good, and she has like 24 HP. <laughs> Only now I realize, like 12 shields and um, 12 health. Yeah, it's a tanky girl. Yeah, resistance started to kill stuff, which is pretty good. Uh, only problem now is that. Yeah, um, Christmas is pinned down here, which is annoying. We need to be smart about this. I'm on the move. There's. Can we get a better, uh, better view of what's happening there? Probably not. I don't want to keep Paris here. Yeah. Give me some there. And for now, I'll just Overwatch. I'm on it. Right. Christmas cannot move. I'll have to wait for these guys to to leave. Otherwise, she she will not be able to move from there. Yeah, resistance still firing, which is good. But only one resistance uh, is shooting, which is annoying. Uh, Christmas still pinned down. So I think try to get a good view of what's happening here with Ares. And I still can't see the other pod. I think I'm going to move him here, then next turn we try again. Christmas cannot move, so she'll just overwatch. 
Amancia, I think I'm going to move her here. And then I'm going to Overwatch. Uh, this is an Overwatch as well. And Overwatch here. Hopefully these guys like, keep going towards the Militia. And just leave us alone. Yeah, I saw, I saw that. Is that a Viper King? Nope! It's the it's Chromodrome, it's the Viper Prince. Okay, are these guys triggering us? Hope not. Okay, uh, I think this guy's dead. He is. There are more militia there, but they're not shooting. And uh Christmas still pinned down here, she cannot move at all. That's unfortunate. So, I want to get more information here. What can you see, Varus? Still cannot have a good eye on the prince, though. We move here. Roger. Hopefully those guys don't do anything crazy. Yeah, it's the Viper Prince. So, this thing right here is not a usual ruler. It can take three actions per turn. It is treated as a ruler, as per more like recent update, like the version where they are proper rulers. Uh, but they don't have the um, ruler reactions. But they take three actions per turn, and they're like, and don't get me wrong, they're super strong. They can get three actions, and I think, if I remember correctly, when they are revealed, they call for more vipers. So that's also a problem. So, yeah. I don't want to get like too far away from Christmas because if Christmas if Christmas gets revealed, she will need she will need help. So, I think Kyo is not in a bad position, but I would prefer for Muton to be where Kel is, but I think I'll just I'll just chill here. The best thing I think the best thing for us is just to chill here in place for now. Wait for an opportunity for Christmas to get out of there. Okay, the spot is moving towards this area, which is fine by me. If we can isolate the Viper Prince and fight with it, then I would be very happy. Are we triggering here? We almost did. We almost got triggered there. That resistance is still doing some work, which is good. Yeah, Christmas is in such a bad position here, dude. We have one rocket and two usages of the flamethrower. We could flame these guys if we're forced to. Uh, I kind of want to have information about these guys. As much as I can. Still have a lot of. Uh... We should have a Nexus here somewhere. Okay. I want perfect information about the Viper Prince at all times. If I can help it. Roger that. If there is in a safe position where he can have eyes on the Prince at all times. So, uh. Now Kel is pinned down here, so we might be revealed next turn, and we're going to fight against those two bots. This is not that bad, if it happens. It's not ideal, of course, because I didn't want to fight at all, but if we uh, fight with only these two bots, we can dispatch of them, we can quickly kill them, and then we can focus on the Viper Prince, which would be pretty good. If we can, only, like, if we can fight only with the Viper Prince, that would be really good for us. Alternatively, we could trigger uh, by ourselves here, because I don't think um, none of us has vision of the Viper Prince spot because it, it's too far away. Because this is a really uh, good opportunity for flash a shot here. We could even kill some stuff. Yeah, I think we're going to activate on purpose here. Let me just make sure that uh, Christmas is not getting eyes on anything additional. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, uh, yeah, uh, this, this flash hit shot is too good not to happen. So, it is happening. Dude, she took down three of them and only the mag remained. Yeah, this is a really good start. I'm glad I did it. Now we have to deal with these two pods. And it, this is really good because we'll, uh, we'll have two pods dead. And then we can focus on what really matters. Uh, do I have a good rocket here? I could. But I'll have to move. Mansa has a Dragon Round Rage, which she could focus on the fucking Pathfinder. That would be really good for us. And that's what I'm doing. He's dead. And now she can fire someone else. Uh, probably try to fire on that guy. We could also suppress him. Uh, that's also a possibility where we can just blast it. Blast him with the rocket here. We could also flamethrower them. But the shoot bearer will be completely safe from that. So I think a rocket here will be really good. I think I'm taking it. Yeah, uh, they're completely out of cover now, which should mean that Amansa will have such a better shot, so... He's dead. Anyone want a souvenir? Okay, uh, now we only have Muton, I think... Yeah, and we have that guy. We cannot kill the mech and Muton, so we should kill the mech because the mech has grenades. The mech is way more dangerous. From here we cannot target the fucking mech, so we need to move to do that. I will leave a Muton flank here because if he goes for Muton, then we'll be in good shape. Because Muton has the shields. Mech's dead. What is this guy doing? About that later. Yeah, he is retreating. He only has 3 HP left. He's fucked. Yeah, uh, that, that was a really good start. That was a really good start. Okay, we have a Spectre here. Is he alone though? Okay, now the turret started to shoot uh, back. And shot twice and took down the resistance? That was brutal. Resistance started to fight now. I think now the, the, the fight like broke loose here. Yeah, now they're fighting. You have all my uh, support to kill that fucking Pathfinder. Alright, uh... As I said, I don't want to trigger the Viper Prince, I just want to have eyes on him at all times. So I'm going to move here to get a better vision on what's along with that Spectre, if there's something. It does look like he, it does look like he is uh, alone by himself there. 97, we could sting it. We could sting it. It's a 79% chance of critting as well. I think I'll take it. I think I'll take it. I think I'll sting it. Big crit? Big crit. 11 damage. Really good Varus. He is, he is triggered but he doesn't know where to go. And uh, he's in a place where we can actually try and get eyes on him. I don't want to trigger, of course. He is like here, right? You want to move here with uh, Muton outside of cover? So yeah, Muton. Uh, let me explain how the shield works. This is a good opportunity to do so. Muton is automatically a low cover 
to any soldier that uh, stops in an adjacent uh, tile to her. And if she activates Shield Wall, she becomes full cover. But if she does so, she's going to lose defense, which means she's going to be an easy target for the others to focus her. And because of that, she has the shield points to compensate for that, because she's going to eat damage regardless. So this is how the shield works, right? Let's take this 50-50, maybe she hits it. Let's see. Utah, my girl. Holy shit, that was so good. That was so good. Yeah, but here, uh, Kel is not getting the cover because she is on a, a stair. She's on a, like a staircase here. So this is why, but if I move here, for example, I would get the full, the half cover from that from her. So this is why it happened. Um, now I want to move here and reload with Kel. Then now, finally, Christmas can move. <laughs> Just dash away. Amancia will dash towards this position. And she is going to reload next turn. So far so good, man. Uh, things are not that bad for us right now. Things are not that bad. The Viper Prince is moving away. We will try to keep our eyes on it. Now what seemed unlikely it's starting to look uh, likely. What seemed unlikely for is that we wouldn't be able to just like breeze through the pods, but that's exactly what we're doing. We're managing to deal one pod at a time. I really thought that wouldn't be possible, but somehow we're doing it. Uh, let's try to keep our eyes on the Viper Prince at all times. I kind of wanted to kill him. I think now we can because we dealt with the, some pods already. So I'm going to try and move. And I'm going to reload here. Then I'm going to move here. Then I'm going to move to dash Christmas towards this full cover. Then I'm going to reload with Amancia. Now I'm going to move outside of cover, unfortunately, but uh, that's what we have to play with here. Uh, Kel will just overwatch. Okay, now they're moving back. We should be. We should get ready to fight. Uh, to fight with it next turn. Come on now, hit this! Come on now. Come on now, kill the fucking Pathfinder. Yes! Good job. Good job. Okay, we should be trying to get ready, uh, trying to get ready to fight the Prince at, at any moment now. So let's uh, get eyes on him again. Yep. Yeah. Uh, we'll just watch, keep our eyes on him. Be completely sure about the ranges that we have to work with. So we could try and get tricky here and, and activate it. Yeah, but if we move like a single tile, we, we will activate it. So yeah. Tired of waiting around. Amancia, get there. Don't waste my time. I think I will area lock down this. Yeah, I will area lock down this because if they they came, then that monster will have like a few shots against anything that moves in this area. I'm locked down. Then I'm going to Overwatch here. Then I'm going to Overwatch here. And then I want to take this cover here so Christmas can have vision. And then Overwatch. And yep. Surely enough. Hello, Chromodrum. Long time no see. 
Piece of shit. Come on, Amasia. Okay, we have dealt some damage at least. Amasia is shooting again. Dude, I love area lockdown. This is so strong. Come on, Amasia. Another shot. Stock damage, really good. Dude, stock is uh, super powerful in the heart. And Amasia got promoted to Captain. Fuck yes, dude. Fuck yes. Fuck yes, man. Feels great. Come on, militia guys, take down the turret. Okay, Pathfinder is also a really good target. You're welcome to, to do that. Good shot, Fazili. Good shot. Man, this mission is going surprisingly well, but I would I'll try not to jinx it by uh by telling myself that. Uh could try to take this Viper down with Varys, but if so, would have to move a little bit. Because Varys is too close to him. Maybe here? I'm there. Can I have a good shot on it? It's an 80% chance of creating. We could potentially kill. Let's hold on to that play. Right, let's hold on to that. Have shield bash. Okay, we need to shred the armor here, that's for sure. And if I want armor shredded, then Kel is my best bet. We also have a Munset to do that as well, but if so, I would have to move her to flank the Viper. She doesn't even have vision as of now. So I would I would have to move her here and then take a shot at this. And if so, I have to have some option to take this thing down. Yeah, I would keep. I would like to keep some distance between us, uh, just so we can throw a grenade here without uh, taking the risk of uh, hitting a Mansia. And if that's the case, then maybe I want to move Kel first. Kel does have the flash hit shot, however. If we could get close enough, like here, we could probably have a flash shot against those two. But then again, I need to shred the armor. Flash shot would not be very uh, powerful if we don't have the armor. So a grenade here would be really good. So I think I'm going to move uh, Kel towards this full cover here. And I'm going to shred the armor and apply the acid damage. Add some damage, armor shred. The, the other Viper is even dead, which is surprisingly uh, good. Just surprisingly a surprise. <laughs> I didn't think it was going to, to die there. Uh, okay, that's surprisingly good. Um, what do we want to do here? Uh, now I think the, the next step should be to shred the armor, right? Man, I really wanted to get rid of that tree, because if I get rid of the tree, I could go like a really... Um, weird... I could do a, a weird play here by destroying the tree with a grenade with Christmas. Ready. Because if I do so... Yeah, but I must have wouldn't have enough ammo to... I must have wouldn't have enough ammo to... to do dragon round and then a normal shot anyway. So a normal shot is in uh, order here. Should we get really close? Not really. I think this is close enough. Come on, Amasa. Yes. Seven damage. The rest of the armor is gone. Uh, Alright. Now is the time where I kind of want to expose uh, Mute on here. 
just so she's like the preferred target for uh, both that Viper and um, and the Viper Prince. But I don't want to move too close to the facility that I could review something else, but I will risk it. Yeah, I don't think we're revealing anything else. So, uh, yeah, this is a shot. And, uh, what's what Christmas can do? Christmas can only take a shot now. So we could smoke this area to reinforce the fact that we want to them to shoot at Newton. Alternatively, we could just shot, shoot the Viper Prince as well. Well, what's, what is going to happen here is a shot against this piece of shit. 7 damage, pretty good. Now we have two options. We can either take this shot and we'll do a bit more damage, or we could throw a smoke here to uh, further protect Amancia. Reinforce that we don't... Yeah, now is the time where I actually want to take the shot here. Let's see if we can kill this thing. Yes! That was so huge, man. Okay, this, uh, this uh, means that I can now safely, yeah, I can now safely take a shot here and not feel bad about it. Uh, is it immune to flash? It is not. We could try and flash it, honestly. Yeah, it, it sounds like a good idea. I, I think I'm gonna actually do it. Disorient and blind? Yeah, it's disoriented and blinded. This 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 thing is not having a good time right now. This thing is not having a good time. I think I picked the right team for the mission, dude. It feels great. Okay, Pathfinder is still alive, which is annoying. He didn't do anything? He didn't do anything! Why? I think the disorientation plus blind plus the acid around him like uh, messed up with uh, his decision making. Man, I, I don't like, dude, dude. I don't care, man. I don't care, dude. You you don't want to, you don't want to take an action. Be my guest, dude. Then just die while you're standing still. Right where you are. I don't care, dude. You're going to die. You don't want to move? So you choose death. Okay. Then death it is. Death it, sh it shall be. Because right. I'm going to fucking burn you now. Oh yeah, look at me now! Three damage only? Nah, it was not. That that's anti-climatic. Uh, should we drag around the rage this? Or should we just take a normal shot? I think drag around the rage, right? Is he already burning? No, he's not burning. So yeah, um, drag around the rage it is. Now he is under the effects of the acid and he's burning. Alright. Then I'm going to... Does he have any area of effect skills? Zone pool, bite and crush, not really. I think he, he, he froze there because he wanted to try and summon his reinforcements but he couldn't. This might be the reason. So I'm going to get close and personal here with Muton. Now I'm going to take a shot at it. Crit as well, 11 damage, pretty good. And now I'm going to get as close as I safely can with uh, Kel here. Maybe here. And I'll take a shot. It's guaranteed as well. 87% chance of crit. 
Yeah, this thing is not having a good time, dude. Another crit for 10 damage. So acid damage and burning. It did regen some HP, but it's still fucked. Let's see what it's going to do now. It's not disoriented anymore, so now he should do something. He didn't do anything, what's happening here? What's happening here? Why didn't he do anything? Uh, let me try and understand what's happening here. He cannot summon... Okay, freeze enemies in an area. So he does have... So... Why is he not doing anything? It's, is this because he's like affected, afflicted by uh, statuses and then he cannot do shit? He couldn't move as well because he had all the tiles like around him surrounded with acid and flames. So he could not move. Maybe he could not do his special actions because he's affected by statuses. But then, uh, and maybe he didn't, he chose not to try and fire because his shots were going to suck. Maybe. I don't know, dude. This is weird. But honestly, I. I don't really care, man. I'm not here for a show. I'm here to. Uh, Get this mission done and just get the fuck out. So are you not are you are you choosing not to move to Does he does he has snap freeze when he dies? I don't think so. This is guaranteed. Uh, this is guaranteed for Christmas as well. Next. It's dead. It's dead. Just like that. I'll take it, dude. I don't care. I'll take it. Do we have access from here? Only here. But now this, this area here should be clearer because of the resistance. We're just moving my load here. Ready to rock. Then uh, Varus will start to move towards the facility to get vision for us. Yeah man, I'll take it dude. I don't care, I'll take it. It's weird how he chose not to try and fire at least but it is what it is man this mission is going surprisingly well dude I didn't expect this at all I was expecting like so much trouble here and we might end up pulling a flawless which is crazy if you think about it crazy yeah virus didn't see any new enemy there Next turn, probably we can open the door and get inside. Okay, um, uh, I think I'll dash. Cal is so far away. I'll just dash Cal. Yeah, we're not triggering anything, I don't think. We cannot see any enemies. So, uh, Christmas will take this full cover here. Can we see something? Not really. Uh, the militia dealt with anything that was here. Then, uh, this should mean that Muton can just serve as cover for Amancia. Overwatch. Overwatch. Overwatch, let's play it safe. Mm. 
And then she's trying to deal with that Pathfinder and the turret. The turret's dead. That's a trooper. He's having a bad time as well. Uh, Varus, do you can you see any additional contacts on this area? Doesn't look like it. Can you get eyes inside? You can. There's the additional bot. Uh, we could try and do this with uh, Sting next turn. So we'll hold on to that thought for now. I think I'll move uh, Mute on here. Overwatch. Kiao will get the full cover. Overwatch. Christmas will get this position in full cover. Amancia will get cover on Newton. And we're going to Overwatch. Take it slow. Slowly and steady. We did great for now. But now that they're revealed, they should f try and fight back. Now they are revealed. Guys, still not dead. There's a 95% miss as well. Holy shit. Uh, yeah. Let's see if we can kill this, this Purifier, because if we crit, we could kill him, and then he could explode and damage the others. Let's see if that happens. No explosion, but he is dead. I would love an explosion, though. Okay, now these guys are active, and we can kill them. This guy is so fucked. <laughs> Uh, this guy is so fucked as well. We have uh, the medic. We could kill. I think we can even kill the medic. To be completely honest, uh, this this guy is dead because of Amancia. Amancia exists, so he's dead. This guy is easily flankable by Christmas here. Right. So. And he got crit as well. Come. Completely wrecked. Uh, yeah, dude. Like, things are just working. I don't think that guy can possibly do something against Amancia there, but I would prefer to get to keep Amancia in full cover just in case. Let's take a normal shot and kill him with the stock. Dead. Okay. Uh, kill. Actually, I'm going to move Muton first. See if I can get eyes on that other guy, the shoot bear. Yes, I can. We could uh, even throw a Molotov. Ah, I, I forgot to give another uh, grenade from from Utah. Yeah, whatever. Here I come. You're dead. Uh, then I'm going to set this guy ablaze. Let's see what he does. Yeah, you're using your shoots. Good job. You're going to die anyway. Dude, I can't believe we're gonna get a flawless here. And like killing a lot of stuff as well, man. That's crazy. Uh this is crazy, man. This wasn't supposed to happen. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Complete madness. 
complete and utter madness. It's what I say. Uh, I'm going to move here. Really? Oh no. I need to reload. Damn it! Can we throw an acid grenade on him? Somehow? Somehow? If we move, we can. Finally. Then, uh, you're already burning, but here, have some acid. For, for your troubles. Nice armor, dude. Nice armor. Shame you don't have it anymore. Muton! Be my guest. He's fucking dead. No puedes conmigo. Alright, I think we just we're just done here. Now will we get the corpse? I'm not sure if I'm going to get the corpse here if I leave, because but for arping uh, reasons, I'm going to have Amasa taking that body. I want that body. So we need to be smart here because once we plant a bomb, uh, reinforcements are probably going to come. So I'm going to uh, try and be smart about this. All right. Need to get in. Reload. At least I won't run out. Yeah, there's no enemies anymore, I don't think. We're not getting like additional alien turns. But Central didn't give me the the message. Where's the body actually? Let's see. I can handle that. Yeah. Do I look like a mule? You do, <laughs> because you're really strong. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> We're carrying the fucking prince, dude. I don't care about what you say. I'm just carrying that body. I just want that fucking body. And uh, yeah, we're moving towards this door where I want to set the extraction point. Then I'm going to move here and reload with Carol. Ready. Ready to and I'm going to move here with Christmas. Whatever. And I'm going to take my time here. Knows how long they've been keeping these storage units running down here. And reload. Preparada. And now I'm going to overwatch. Right. And for now, I'm just going to finish my turn here. Yeah, it doesn't seem like we have any additional contact, so as soon as we drop this, then uh, we're going to get the. I think we're going to get reinforcements. Unfortunately, Varus is not seen planting the bomb. Status confirmed. X4 charges are armed. Move to the extraction point for immediate evac. Do we have an extraction point? No, we have to call this guy Ranger, okay. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, yeah, on my way. Just get outside. Maybe we have an opportunity to uh, farm the reinforcements. We'll see. Let's do this. Further, like, get mo even more XP than we already did. No Seems doable. So funny that she's carrying the... <laughs> She's carrying the Viper Prince, dude. This is so funny. It's so silly. Uh, yeah, let's just uh, overwatch with everyone. Moving to oh, well, you're you're ready, ready. Ready. Let's see if they're going to call reinforcements. No, no reinforcements. Weird. Okay. Alright. What would I do without you? Alright. We're out here. We're out of here. Dude, what a mission, dude. What an amazing display for XCOM here. Like, this is an example of a mission, dude. What the fuck? 
even if the Viper Prince decided to fight back, he would still be fucked. He couldn't touch us. He couldn't touch us. Maybe he would have, like, damaged someone, but... Like, it doesn't matter, dude. It, w it wouldn't have gone, like, much differently than uh, it had. Because even if he sh he managed to take shots there, it wouldn't matter. It wouldn't matter. And shoutouts to the militia as well. They helped us a lot by taking care of that uh, pod that was in front of the facility and the turret. Shoutouts to them. So we got 16 million crystals and two more ability points for that, for our troubles. Dude, what a mission! What a mission! Unbelievable, man. Unbelievable, are you kidding me? We got a fucking flawless, dude. Oh, this is Vera's poster, by the way. Elsa's. Dude. Dude, what a mission. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And I think that the fact that we picked the team that we did, that we really focused on having, um, like, easily, like, a guaranteed damage, uh, explosives, a lot of shredding, a lot of, like, area of effect. I think that choice, what what's really made a difference here, it enabled us to take care of the enemies, like, super fast. And we got lucky because we managed to kill two pods, like, so quickly. Then we faced against the Viper Prince pod, um, exactly on our terms. Because that's the thing, right? He, we fought, we fought against him on our terms, and because of that, we managed to like completely obliterate them. He didn't have a chance. And three pips as well, three pips from the advent from the Avatar Project, dude. Oh man, like <laughs> unbelievable! This is unbelievable. Like. Unbelievable, man. I wasn't expecting this. I was expecting. I was expecting so much worse. I was expecting like going in, planting the bomb, and just evacuing without killings, killing things. Man, man. <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm being annoying, but I, I just can't believe it, dude. And flawless, are you fucking kidding me? And two captains? Two captains? Are you serious right now? Man, what a fucking mission, dude. Kill. Captain. Salvo, launch into our grenades using heavy weapons for section will not in turn, which is pretty good. Tactical pockets, all limited use items in your project receive one extra usage. So this means that all our grenades get another extra usage? Question mark? Because if so, I know what's which skill I'm picking. Shoulder to lean on, uh, as a thing once has this plus 5 in. This might be a skill for Muton. If she gets the skill. But she's not a fuse, she's a grenadier, yeah, never mind. Um, tactical pockets, yeah, we have to, right? We kind of have to. Amancia, well deserved, dude. I think she's our first. Uh... I didn't see if Kel got promoted on her very first shot, but I I saw when Amancia got her promotion. So we have all the targeting, which is amazing, and uh, it's really. Funny how it, it, it comes so late on the tree. Uh, Mayhem. Plus 40% bonus damage against enemies who attempt to move when suppressed or are in area lockdown. So this is absurd combined with our area lockdown. It's completely absurd. Defensive watch, gain plus one overall shot and plus one armor per action point remaining when activated overwatch. Yeah, this is good, but 
she already has area lockdown. This is really strong. It's a tough choice, man. Yeah, but any directed cannon shot. Directed cannon shot. Directed cannon shot. Okay, yeah, this is important. So, all the target does not work with uh, area lockdown. So I think I'll take Mayhem here, because unless it usually goes for the area lockdown, it's a skill that we use a lot, that we rely on, upon a lot. So this will make her even more disgusting against large groups of enemies. And there's got promoted to Lieutenant. Uh, Death Dealer, critical shots against the flank target while in shadow will do double critical damage. This is completely absurd, this is really strong. Uh, Hondage, your sword attacks red armor, but we are not going towards this uh, swordman uh, with Varus. And Needle, shots taken in shadow have plus two armor piercing. We're, we're already using like uh, APs, so Death Dealer it is. It also fits with him thematically, as the Black Hound he is. And sure enough, wait. Oh! <laughs> Look at this! We didn't get any bodies from this mission, right? Because we evac'd. But, as we killed the ruler, the, we, we would get the body anyway. But, as we extracted the said body, the game just glitched out and gave us two bodies instead for our troubles. <laughs> this is so silly, man. Your troops performed admirably, Commander. Destroying that facility will slow the aliens' development of the Avatar project and give us time to further establish the resistance movement. You know what's funny? It's not even that. Um... It's not even that good because, uh, if I remember correctly, Chromodrome just gives us uh, a frost grenade. So it's not even that useful. But yeah, sure. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think about us uh, like uh, transforming two Chromodromes in grenades. Or maybe selling the extra body, who knows. Uh, I think we have promotions here because of the bleeding XP. Yeah! Bruce just got promoted uh, from the ble uh, XP bleeding effect. Now he's a lieutenant, so we get to promote him as well. Uh, quick draw, which is really good. Killer instinct, activated run and gun, grants plus 50 critical damage for the rest of the turn. This is so strong. Then, of course, lightning reflexes. Each turn, the first reaction shot against you misses. So, this is like vanilla XCOM 2 uh, lightning reflexes. It does not work against multiple shots, it only makes so that the first reaction shot is guaranteed to miss. I think I'm going to go... I'm going to go Killing Instinct here, because this paired with Hipfire means that we can get a lot of, like, a lot of damage done. So Bruce is like becoming so strong too. Bruce is like super strong right now. We have no extra promotions, but we do have a lot of uh, bonding opportunities. And I think that one bond that needs to happen is um, Ferris and Muton. And we are going to do that. But um, I need to make a poster. So not, I will do that off camera. I will bond them and then I will make a poster off camera for the two of them. If that makes any sense. So, yeah, let's just hit the juice cape. Dude, I, unbelievable, man. Unbelievable. And three pips out of the uh, after project. Yeah, get fucked after project. Get fucked after project. Thank fuck, man. Thank fuck. 
All right. Uh, we were going to make contact, right? So let's keep doing that. Make contact. Setting course for the we have another facility available. Really nice. So now that we have a power relay, this means that we can build additional stuff. We could build a shadow chamber. Shadow chamber will be really nice because it will make uh, it will make it possible for us to see the enemies before we go into the mission. There's a training center which um, allows us to pick the skills that are the extra skills, pick the extra skills uh, when we want and purchase an, uh, additional attack abilities. We could go for resistance comms as well. Uh, resistance comms sounds like a good idea. Uh, we need additional contacts. I think I'm going, I'm going to do I'm going to go for resistance comms here. Resistance communications facility construction initiated. Makoto Yamamoto will take care of that. Can we build additional stuff? We have only 74 supplies, so it's unlikely that we're going to be able to do anything else. Do we have new stuff here on GTS? Heavy gunner, eh, that's the same thing. Wait. Oh yeah, of course, we need more supplies for squad sites. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Here's the thing. Making contact is good and all, but... Let's get those supplies. I want the squad upgrade ASCP. Another important step forward in our research. Sinex X Mate is done. So experimental side. The side lab will allow you to create powerful psionic equipment. Our soldiers can supplement standard soldier training with an intense mental ordeal that find turn to control psionics. So this is the facility that allows us to build the Psy stuff. Uh, Advanced Psy Up is now uh, available. Shadow Chamber Construction Inspired Breakthrough? Wanna, we have Main and Sun Breakthrough. We must be Shadow Construction and Encounter Rest Protect. I think this is like half. Lowering the cost by 50%. I think we need to take it. It's 10 ins, fuck it, but Shadow Chamber is going to happen anyway. An I'm going to take this. Because command. next thing that we're going to build is the Shadow Chamber, because I want to have information about the enemies we're going to face. So I am taking that breakthrough. Thank you very much, game. Uh, yeah, that's happening. Uh, we have several engineers to reassign here. No, not really. Okay. So... Yeah. Great. Take the supplies. Okay, at least we got enough supplies to get the squad size upgrade. <laughs> Thank fuck. <laughs> Let's do that. Yeah. This is happening. Uh... First things first. Guerrilla Tactics School. Well, should we have a lot of beams? So much for fuse can take critical damage. What? How many skills do the fuses have, dude? Heavy gunner armor plating. King plus two armor and uh, plus five relative armor. Uh, Rocketeer. Well, anyway, squad size upgrade. So yeah, guys, power spike. We got a power spike here. If these are the support structures of your resistance, then I will strike at your foundation. Let's pick the team. Okay, uh, I want Auron here, because I want Auron to be promoted as well. 
This might be assassin territory, so he might be under the risk of getting his fear triggered, which is annoying, but we just have to deal with it. And uh, we have... we'll take Zoe. No, not Zoe, Tinker Cave. Along with him to make uh, full use of that bond. It's a shanty temperate. It's stop the event retaliation. I think this is a standard retaliation. I think it's just a, like the standard retaliation mission, vanilla one. Uh, then alongside with them, I'm going to take. Let's take Knox. It's been some time since the last time we saw him. We're going to upgrade his Bulba. Can we upgrade the Ripjack? We cannot, because we're lacking the alloys. Unless... How many times? 23 hours. Avenger plotting new course. Market is open. Yeah, we do not have enough intel. Never mind. Your friends realize that their fate hinges only on your return. Never mind. Grass. Okay, but uh, even even so, I'm going to still uh, pick him because it's been some time since the last time we saw him. So I want to have him on this mission. Uh, what do his bonds look like? Not that great. We're going to use him regardless. Um, he's being underused. These guys have a few of the chosen, but I kind of want to use them. I think we earned. Okay, uh, let me let me think this through. All right. I think I want Zoe here. Because I want some sort of explosives expert, right? And we don't don't necessarily need to use these because they, they are tired. So let the tired people rest. But Zoe has been seeing a lot of action, so maybe this is an opportunity where we can just take uh, other people instead. So maybe uh, give an opportunity for Nelson here. So I think yeah, I think we're going to send like uh, more like people that we haven't seen in a while. So uh, we're not seeing uh, Nelson on a while in a while, so we'll take Nelson. And if we're taking Nelson, then might as well take his bondmate or amazing spark of joy now upgraded to um, blade it. Then uh, we are going to say. I kind of want to take those. I really want to. <laughs> uh, maybe we could send Angie and Jaren. And pretty funny uh, because they're uh, they're all from Belgium and they have really high combat. Like not really high, but high combat regardless. And everyone with fear of the chosen. That sucks, dude. That sucks so much, but you know what? I think I'm, I'm I think I'm going to get uh, confident here, and I'm going to send both Petra as our infiltrator, and I'm going to send Jaren. I'm going to hold on to that mission for uh, our skirmisher for when we get the allies to upgrade his ripjack so he can fight in like full potential. Also what I did notice now is that we have the basic Siams which means uh, it comes with Fuse and Side Strike as normal skills but uh, as we don't have the facility yet to deal, to deal with them 
we will need to build the facility to actually be able to slot the things on them. I think that's how it works. So for now, we'll have to hold on to that. We're going to uh, give Orn his sniper rifle. We'll give him this rail pistol. He's going to uh, use some support items here. Then he's going to take the Falcon rounds. And uh, a nanoscale vest. Also, let's see if we can build any additional ammo items. We can. We can. Uh, we can do another Arctic rounds. We could do blue screen rounds as well. We'll need those eventually. Yeah, let's hold on to that thought for now. Uh, Falcon rounds here needs to happen. Or maybe not, maybe we, we could give... Uh, no, I think Falcon Rounds would be great for our... Or maybe not. You know what, I think I'm going to use a PCS here. I think I'm going to finally use a PCS here. I'm going to give uh, Arnold the AP Rounds, so armor doesn't matter for him. Then I'm going to... Uh, I think there's a PCS here that I, re that I really like. This one? No, not this one. This one. Um, Plus 5 aim reduces enemies dodge by 25 when you're at higher elevation than your target. This is like always for Auron. So we're going to reduce the dodge and we're going to improve his, uh, his aim. So yeah, this is the, the BCS for Auron. And um, Auron's ready. Then for... I think we'll give uh, Amon's his cannon for uh, Caitlyn here. We're gonna give her a medkit. We're gonna give her a flashbang. We're gonna give her the tracer rounds. We're gonna give her a nanoscale vest. Then Nelson will have our best our best available shotgun. Maybe not the best shotgun. Because I will give that to Jern instead. Give him the uh, shotgun with laser sight. We should also upgrade our gremlins when we have the chance. Uh, and also we'll have the tracers. Then for utility item, I think a med kit is in order. Or maybe, uh, sorry. We could use a grenade with him. Maybe a subsonic. Tracers, ultra light because the shotgun he will he will he would like to move. And actually, let's give uh, yeah this is the, this is the I think I'm gonna give Nelson the blue screens. It makes sense. I think I'll, I'll build the blue screens and I'll give him the blue screens. Even if we don't give him blue screens, we need blue screens anyway, so might as well, right? But maybe, I think he needs the traces more than Kate does, so I think I'll give Kate the blue streams. And then I will uh, give Nelson the tracers, and the tracers for our uh, friend here. We don't have any other uh, options here. We could give something to the rail cannon. Probably a stock. Stock is always a welcome, right? Then, uh. Here. Honestly, I don't love the. I think I, I like the pistols more here. So I'm going to give her the pistol. And. I'm going to give her. I'm going to give the Siam to have the fuse and the Psy Strike. Because she is a Psy unit. So we're going to give her the fuse ability and the Psy Strike. She's a scout, so she's going to be scouting for us. Which means I want the Ultralight Vest on her. 
and we'll give her the Falcon rounds to improve her damage. Then, um, I want a med kit, and I want the acid grenade. How do her skills look like, though? She has Hunter's Instinct. Hunter's Instincts. Plus 2 damage, swords have a chance, so she has Lash. Yeah, I think it, uh, she, she kinda needs the... But we could test if, if Flash works with... Um, works with the Siam. We'll see. Maybe it does. I don't know. We'll test it. Also, uh, one thing that could work as well is that if she had like a sword as primary, but I don't think that's possible. Yeah, that's not. That's okay. I think a sword here would be more useful, to be completely honest with you. We'll do that. At least for now, while we don't have the uh, Psy things to assign for the Psyams. And uh, Jiren also debuting here. We'll give him our best available shotgun. We'll give him the... Wait, where, where's my grenades? Oh, she's carrying the acid, alright. Uh, let's give Jiren... Our last med kit, the incendiary grenade, the arctic rounds, and the ultralight vest. So yeah, I think this is it. This should be it for the mission. Guys, uh, what a crazy episode. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave that comment dialog on the comment section below. Don't forget to smash the like button, helps a lot, keeps me motivated. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. If you are not on my Discord, please join me. Uh, this is Commander Duma. I'm signing out. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye and much love as always.